let's do the demo. I, if you would like to do this demo with me, and that will be so nice if you do. This is actually a consistency exercise. And even if you feel 100% confident when working with acrylic, I still recommend you to try it. So we will need a tip. It's better to do it on the tip. I mean, you can do it on your nails too if you have extensions, but it's just easier to do it on something else. Or, um, you know, if you have a model or a plastic hand. So you need to have any kind of background which you can create out of gel polish, uh, acrylic dip, anything. And the surface should be buffed. Okay, so if the surface will be shiny, it will be kind of tricky. So I have a few tips with um, gel polish because, you know, I do a lot of uh, swatches and then I use them for this, for fun. And also we are going to need one color of powder. Quick tip, it's a bit easier if you use white, but if you do not have white, then it's fine. I'm using the Valentino ones, there is no certain reason for it, but that's a good brand, so you know I decided to take it today with me. You can use any brush that you currently have, or any of your brush, brush that you normally use for acrylic application. I'm going to use this one, number 8 by Harmony. And monomer as well can be any kind of monomer. If you are professional, that it will be easier for you to use the fast setting. If you're just getting started, it may be any, any, any monomer that you have. Okay, so this is an exercise. Okay, so um, do not worry if it will not be perfect. The goal of this exercise is for you to understand the three um, actually, the four stages of acrylic. So the first one, the first stage, yeah, that's perfect, is wet. That means once you take the acrylic bead, it's, you know, it's wet. It's just flowing all over and, um, you know, it's, it's just like this. Then another one is perfect. It's just a perfect, nice bead that we can work with. And then, after a little time, this perfect bead becomes matte. So we can still work with it, but then at this point we need to press harder. Okay. And then, after that, it's going to be dry or... I know, you know, hard, the kind of consistency that we cannot really work with anymore. Okay, so I would say this one is what we need to work with. Okay, perfect. And now as we're doing this exercise, I also would like you to pay attention and to feel all these four stages of acrylic because they will come eventually. First one, then this one, and this one. And while well, this is the perfect one, these two are the ones that we need and the ones that you need to practice to um, be able to get to this consistency like faster. Okay. If it's confusing and you're like, oh my god, why is this like a triangle and this one is a circle? You do not, no worries. Let's get to the exercise. So once you pick a bead, usually the first one, remember, is wet. It's shiny, it's flowing, it tends to fall off the brush. But then as we dry it a little bit, then it looks more like a perfect, like it's almost a perfect pearl. And if we just release it and wait, we can actually help it by using, you know, a hot air, you know, something like this so eventually it will become matte and over time it's going to be hard that you will not even be able to press it or do anything without with it okay that's the last stage which is hard all right let's practice so we are going to do flowers and if you're questioning like flowers anastasia i thought this is like a quick webinar not a nail art webinar well, this exercise, even though it's kind of a nail art, it's still a very good exercise to do the consistency. 
So, like I said, the point is not to teach you to do nail art right now, even though, I mean, if you, can, if you repeat this exercise, you will, but to feel the product. So we pick up the bead. If you place it right away on the tip, it will be wet. That's why I added some extra monomer into the tissue. And now I place it and it's in the condition called perfect. And while it's perfect, we need to do this to turn it into balloon. Oh yeah, it does look like a balloon, right? Now we need to wait until it's matte. Once you see that the surface is matte, we can start pushing. And the tip of my brush is always looking in the center of, you know, in the tip of the balloon, let's call it like that. Well, actually it's a petal. I hope it does look like a petal by now. So I press harder in the center and I press less to the sides. But like I said, do not try, I mean, uh, to make it like super perfect. The point is to understand how it works. Okay, so then you need to take the same size of the bead if you would like to create the similar petal. If I just take the bead and place it right here, see what's going to happen? It just flows all over and we definitely are not getting any good result out of it because that was too early. If I will take this bead, that I, you know, took a while ago and try to place it on the nail and press. What, what do you think gonna happen? Um, well, nothing, because it's already on this hard part. And it's already hardened, and we cannot really move it. So the same thing will happen if you try to press it when it's too late. N nothing's going to happen. Okay, it's not going to move. So let's go through these four steps again. We pick the bead. It's rather wet. Then I place it on the tissue and turn it, whoops, into perfect. Then while it's like that, I quickly do this, turn it into balloon. And then we wait a little longer. The waiting time really depends on the product, on your room temperature, on many things. So do not. So you see now, if I start pressing now while it's wet, um, the brush may start sticking to it. And the shape of the petal will be, you know, slightly different. But as I do it now, when it's matte, you know, it's just so much easier to do it and to control it. So if you've already feel confident by picking up the beads doing petals, you may also challenge yourself to create the, let's say, petals of the same size. But if, if it doesn't seem as easy to you yet, like no worries, just um, focus on the consistency first. So we pick up the bead, we put the rest on it. The reason I'm doing this with the tissue is because the brush I'm using is definitely too big for... Um, or design. So you see this bead, it was kind of dry on this side. That's why it's not, it was not sticking too well. So it's just easier for me to achieve the proper consistency like this. But you can also use like a, br a br thick brush, which has less monomer in it. And take the bead like this right away. So once again, while it's a little wet, we do this. Because if you will wait a little longer, it will not be as easy anymore. If I try pressing it now, well, it's it's not really going to work very well. You see, the shape is not as good. And by the way, you see my brush, I probably need to change it soon. I mean, it's, it's fine, but still the point is not as sharp. And the good thing when working with tips that you can move them around like how you want it. That's why I recommend to do this exercise on the tip first. So it's up to you how many petals to create. I decided to do the three petal one. You may do all five, like doesn't matter at this point. 
And also you don't have to press that hard in the center. I just prefer this kind of flowers when you can see the background, but it's optional once again. So this is the exercise. We can to do the center of the flower just to finish the exercise. You can use rhinestones. Or if you want to challenge yourself a little bit more, then you can try picking up a really small bead and to make it look like a sphere, we need to do the proper consistency. For such a small bead and such a big brush, it should be almost dry, okay? If, it's, um, if the brush is too wet, then there's no way you're picking the proper consistency bead. So this is what proper consistency means. You place it and it's not falling off. I mean, it's not making turning into flat ones. It just keeps its shape. And we can just leave it like that or we can do a little hole in the center and then it will be... A different kind of flower so it's up to you which one you want to try but this petals thing once again do not focus on their shape or something you just i just want you to feel all these steps okay let's repeat so once it's wet you do not release it once it's perfect you place it on the tip and quickly do the balloon shape like a drop shape then you wait until it's matte and when it's matte, you keep the tip of the brush in the center and press the petals. Most of the pressure goes here. So this is the angle that I'm doing this with. The tip of the brush is pressing harder while the rest of the brush, you know, the body is doing it softer. 